welcome to the Soul Loft Capital Creation Series. Dara and I started this about a year ago, and um, it's gone phenomenal well. We had an event yesterday, and uh, it was quite interesting because we were in a Chinese restaurant, and we had this big white tables and tablecloth, and it was really well uh, received. Um, we're going to have people coming in and out all day long. Now, my name is David Drake. I'm one of the partners with Dara for the Soul Loft Capital Creation. We've known each other about 10 years. And it all started with me actually having a loft called the Soul Loft for the first 10 years of this de uh, century. And we used to do you know, networking events for about 10 years at my loft in Soho. And some of the family members of Dara actually used to come to dinner at my place. So uh, eventually, people started booking the place for events, and I moved out. And we decided to take that brand and create the Soho Loft networking events globally. And now we can say global because I was just with Johan Gurki, who who's one of the founders of Skype, speaking at his event in Stockholm two weeks ago. So officially, we are globally expanding into other nations as well. And we're going to have some of the people here today join us in the fall to a couple of places in Stockholm, maybe in Poland, and other places in Eastern Europe to speak as well. Now, this series has been going on maybe you know once or twice a month in the beginning, and now we're up to three to four or five times a month. And we're getting a lot of attention, meeting some of the brightest minds in the world on different topics in the private company marketplace, as well as crowdfunding, who's getting a lot of attention. You can also going to notice that Sphera, the crowdfunding inter intermediary regulatory authority, is being put up there, which is an organization we were put together thanks to the events that Dara and I did the last couple of years, and also some of the thought leaders that are in the space. But we also have a new organization, hello, a new organization called the Crowdfunding Professional Association, which is a national and a global crowdfunding association which is free to sign up. So we're gonna encourage everybody here to read the statements. They're gonna be on the table over there, table over here and the next door. They're gonna be on the tables over there. You can read a mission statement and sign up for free to support what we're working, the work we're doing with SEC and FINRA. So it's very exciting having all of you here and it's a pleasure to hand over the word to Dara who's gonna be running the conference today. Thank you. Thanks. Well, it's really great to be here, and I, too, would like to welcome everyone to today's event, uh, to all the people in the room, as well as all of those who are, who are viewing via webcast today, which is pretty exciting. Um, and as always, I'd like to begin by expressing my sincere gratitude um, for the abundance of support we've received since launching this event platform less than a year ago. It was actually not a couple of years ago. It was actually the first event was last August. Um, and I'm truly astounded by how fast we have grown and really profoundly inspired by the sheer number, thanks, uh, by the sheer number of people who are so devoted to rebuilding a capital market system that is failing our greatest job creators and impeding economic growth. Okay. Um, today, you will learn how the fusion of new legislation that's embedded in the Jobs Act um, as well as social media and a cutting-edge new marketplace for private company stock is revolutionizing the capital markets and giving rise to new leadership on Wall Street. We have got a powerful lineup of speakers for you tonight, today. They all bring enormous passion, vision, and guidance to the rising private markets. And as our capital markets shift into a new era, they will provide you with the tools and the insight needed to capitalize in this new markets paradigm. So I'd like to begin by thanking all of our supporters. We are so grateful for all of you, including our ongoing sponsors and speakers, for all your contribu contributions in enhancing capital formation and helping inspire economic prosperity. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you all. So I, I'd ask all the people that are here today, as well as the, the people that are um, viewing us uh, virtually, um, to please make sure to take some time to get to know these people, learn about the resources that they provide to emerging businesses. We began a new tradition uh, at our LA event in March. And what we started to do was in the event programs, we took a, a, a page where we would, do, we would uh, dedicate the event to a person or persons that we find inspiring. Um, in, and then we include a relevant quote relating to, to that particular group or person. Um, and in LA, it was dedicated to the entrepreneurs and the visionaries who we consider to be uh, the music makers and the dreamers of dreams. 
Um, and then in um, in New York a couple of weeks ago, um, we we um, we um, dedicated the event to those who saw the injustice in our nation's capital markets, but rather than a turn a blind eye, chose to challenge the establishment with ideas instead of picket signs and solutions instead of violence. But because this, these, this week's events are being held in the, in the hub of global innovation, we thought it only fitting to pay homage to Steve Jobs and dedicate this week's events to the crazy ones. Because like Steve, we believe that the people who are crazy enough to think they could change the world are very often the ones who do. I thought this was a great quote, quote and so relevant to why we're all here today. You know, everyone here has the sense that right now is one of those moments where we are influencing the future. And I started thinking about Steve Jobs and what made him such a great visionary. And it wasn't that he foresaw, uh, you know, a desktop on in everybody's living room. What made him a great visionary was that he was